guys, today I'm doing a video on baby gear and baby mobility, kind of for the lifestyles, like, you know, maybe you're um, simplifying your life, you have a simple living lifestyle, maybe you're a minimalist family, uh, maybe you're on a budget and you just don't want to have to invest in buying a lot of gear, um, kind of all those things, um, those are kind of topics I cover on my channel, so if you're interested, um, subscribe. But let's, yeah, let me share with you kind of my experience with baby gear, what I would have done differently in the beginning, um, and then what I really love now. So the first item is the infant seat, right? Um, I think with my our first infant seat we purchased, um, it was heavy. It was a little awkward. I didn't realize how heavy it gets when your child starts to grow and, you know, it's kind of in the six months, you know, four to six months. It can get quite heavy, especially when you're trying to reach across, you know, and and get it into um, the car seat into a car or, or reach it really high and get it into a um, like a, a shopping cart or something like that. And so um, this time around I went with a little bit lighter car seat. Um, this is an eight pound, the Alpha eight pound car seat um, through Phil and Ted's. I got it free with the purchase of their dot stroller and travel system, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, so that was kind of a, I, one thing I wish I had done again is to go with a lighter car seat. Um, so these are great. Speaking of the Phil and Ted's dot, let me just bring that over. Um, so this is the Phil and Ted's Dot Stroller 2015 model. Um, it We did, um, because it's a 2015 model, I bought it online and it came with the free Alpha car seat, which is here. It came with the free adapter kit and then it also came with the free um, second seat that attaches right back here um, to the back of the stroller. So this is a great option. I love, I really love three-wheeled, like, inline strollers. They're my favorite. I, I definitely, um, I'm a bit of a nerd, and I, um, I go to the store, and I try out the stroller before I buy it, and I was really set on getting kind of a, um, a, like a, um, a two-seat stroller, the ones that are a little larger, you can, like, sit and stand, and have all these different combinations, but, I went to the store and tried it out and I was like, this is too big for me. Like, this is not, this is, I, I didn't like how it felt. And so that's a, another thing that's important. The Phil and Ted's might not work out for you. Um, I would recommend going out and, you know, trying to find a store that carries one where you can test it out. Test out your stroller. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, this is an investment, something that you'll have for a few years. Maybe if you have like, you know, you're, you're going to plan to have two to three kids or something and you're going to um, want to buy a stroller that can kind of, work with your family throughout the time as you raise your kids. So it's important. Spend the time, do the research. All right, but what I love about the Phil and Ted stroller, again, is it has the two seats, and yet it's super compact. The, the Dot stroller is one of their smaller inline strollers. Um, it has kind of uh, great durable wheels. Um, it folds pretty easily. It's heavy, but that's part of the reason is it's, um, this is like welded, steel, like, I don't know if it's steel, but there's weld marks on it, like, you know, where they've welded the metal together. That's kind of a sign of durability and strength. It doesn't squeak when I have it loaded with my two <laughs> large um, boys, you know, and they're in there. It, it doesn't, um, it, it's perfect. The back seat holds 35 pounds. The front seat holds 45 pounds. Um, but there was a bit of a hang-up I had when I unboxed it and I put it together and I started looking at it. I'm like, oh, no, this isn't, this isn't so great. And what, what's not so great? Well, the system of attaching the bassinet was a little difficult for my back. Again, I have back some back issues. I'm working on it. You know, I have a chiropractor. I'm, I'm good. But um, still, you know, having the car seat and, you know, being in awkward situations with the infant carrier seat is not the best. All right. But the awkward part I have is with this seat, um, it's kind of a blind. I have to connect two connectors, and this back side is kind of a blind uh, connect. I can't quite see it. I kind of have to feel it. And that's a lot of, you know, um, probably take some practice for me to get good at it, but I don't necessarily want to be in that position for that long of time while I'm trying to maneuver this and get the car seat in. So I was really disappointed. I was actually thinking like, oh my, I'm going to have to return the stroller. Um, but then I found this video online where someone had done a stroller hack where they had attached an infant seat to the back of their inline stroller. Um, and sure enough, I tried it with this one, and I found a way to make it work. Um, 
I'm going to do kind of a DIY. I have some seatbelt material and some really heavy duty clips and I will have to create a system where I can attach this infant seat securely by using the seatbelt buckle, um, using this handle and attaching it to points on the stroller that are um, you know, meant to carry weight um, so that it's safe. Make sure whenever you're hacking something like you're doing a hack with an item, just keep in mind that it hasn't been tested with safety, so keep safety in mind. All right, so but that's really exciting because it will be really helpful for my back. Um, I won't have to, um, you know, lift it, uh, lift this car seat as high. And then plus the front seat does carry 45 pounds, and instead, you know, that back small back seat only carries 35, and so I can carry my larger toddler in front here while my infant is um, secured in the back. So I love this stroller. I love how compact it is. I love, a com again, compact strollers are great, especially, um, you know, if you're in kind of an urban setting and you just have a lot of traffic, foot traffic, and you're trying to maneuver through crowds, um, uh, you know, that, that's a great option. So I love this travel system. All right, the next item that I love is the, um, is the umbrella stroller. This is just so lightweight. It's easy to use. I always keep it in my vehicle at all times. Um, it doesn't recline, this kind, I think this was like a $20 Costco um, special, um, the little penguin. It was a couple years ago that they had this. Um, simple buckles, you know, just, it's just a wonderful, simple little stroller, perfect for maneuvering through very tight spaces. Um, if I just have maybe one child in tow or something, I can use that. Um, it's not great for infants, obviously, it's not designed for infants, it's more for toddlers. But it's a great stroller. I've used it so often. It's like the best $20 I ever spent. Um, speaking of um, other gear, too, I want to talk about my, um, my Boba Carrier. This is really versatile. Talking about versatile stuff and talking about well-spent money, this was awesome. Um, this, uh, basically, I, I found this used on eBay, so I didn't have much of an investment. I think it was $40, and it's like a 2011 model, so it's a little bit older, but it was in good condition, and it's working out great. So you can basically wear it, you know, around your waist, um, and your shoulders, and you can wear it, wear it so that the baby's in front, or you can convert it into a backpack, you know, kind of have the child um, on your back, and um, that's great, so versatile. It holds up to like 45 pounds, if I'm not mistaken, 40 to 45 pounds. So this is, can take a very heavy toddler, and a lot of times what we would do is we just carry this along with us when we're out, you know, at an amusement park or something, and when our, um, you know, three to four-year-old starts wanting to take a nap, dad can kind of... Um, put them on his back and take it from there. So that's that was a great that's a great option. Again, I was kind of developing back issues, so I can't really um, carry the larger child on my back so much. But it's great for when my husband. Um, it, it's just such a compact little <laughs> piece of equipment that you can take with you, and it really comes in handy in a pinch. Um, now, with again with back issues, um, what I did with. Um, when we went from having one child to two children, we had an inline stroller like this, but it didn't. It had the option for two seats, and so the infant carrier a lot of times was sitting in the stroller like travel system, and then my toddler was you know walking aside, besides, and then sometimes that didn't work. So I would actually put the infant in my boba and have like baby wear, and then have my um, my toddler uh, you know in the stroller. That worked out really good until you know it was just a lot to handle with. Um, the baby. And I found grocery shopping with my baby was awesome. It's delightful. I loved it. I loved being so close to my child. You know, it's so awesome. I love baby wearing. But I found that it was kind of hard when I had a toddler that I had to handle if he was, you know, um, you know, misbehaving or something. And, you know, my little infant's head is, you know, here. Um, and I felt really like, kind of like it was just kind of, they're in a vulnerable situation or, or um, a position, I mean. Um, you know, to have to, you know, hold on to your toddler's hand when they're tugging you and, you know, your baby. So that's why, um, and plus with the back issues, like there's just been a couple things where this system no longer really worked for us. So with um, uh, the new baby coming, we're going to do the infant seat um, probably in the back of this. And then my toddler, if he's misbehaving, thankfully my children absolutely love being in the stroller. So it's kind of like a treat for them to be in the stroller. Um, <laughs> hopefully that um, 
stays true because then, you know, he can stay in, the, my toddler can stay in the stroller, um, my infant can be here, and then I can be doing my grocery shopping and stuff with, with everything. So um, that's kind of what, what works really good for our travel systems and, you know, carrying babies. Again, it's nice to have options. I love my boba, but it wasn't working in every situation. So having a double stroller that was compact was like icing on the cake. It's just going to be, I can't wait to use it. It's going to be really good. Um, the next piece, next item, which this is, I almost like saved the best for last, <laughs> are the balance bikes. These are so awesome. My four-year-old learned how to ride um, a two-wheel bike, you know, two-wheel pedal bike at four years old, and um, he beat me. I think I was, I learned at like five. Anyway, <laughs> Part of the reason is um, he could learn. He learned how to balance very at a very young age on a balance bike, and this is really nice for walks. Um, if you're especially, especially if you're going on a walk that's you know maybe not as crowded of a trail, obviously because you you have a toddler on a bike that can be kind of a, a safety issue if you're on really busy roads. You know you want to make sure your toddler knows the rules of the roads um, before you let them out. So that's something to consider. But if you're just going on a nice quiet walk. Um, this was so helpful because my toddler could glide along beside us. He didn't get as tired as quickly. You know, we get to the park, he could get off and play for a while. And then um, when he's tired, he just hopped back on this bike and kind of basically, you know, it, it, it's just so, so nice to be able to just push yourself and you, you know, the bike carries all of your weight. And it's, it, it was really helpful um, to the point where he would actually kind of get ahead of me and I almost had to start taking my bike and take the baby with me on a bike um, to keep up with him. So that was all good. And so um, I can't recommend a balanced bike enough. So again, speaking of bikes and biking, we are a biking family too, and we like, like to use our bikes and go to parks and, you know, kind of stay out of the car. Um, and so we also have um, a bike trailer for the smaller kids. Um, and sometimes I wonder if maybe, I think I thought I had, I had like this expectation that I would use this trailer more and I would go biking more and it just hasn't been quite as, um, as like that for me personally. So sometimes I wonder if, well, maybe I should have bought one of those little carriers that attach to your actual bike for, you know, for biking with toddlers. And so that's an option. Um, you know, the trailer can kind of be wide, kind of a wide, um, make your, you know, make you wider when you're trying to maneuver through traffic and stuff. Um, and so maybe having the child on your bike would have been better. But again, I haven't tried that. If you guys have tried it, comment below. See what you like. Do you like the bike trailer better? Or do you like the options where you can have the you know child actually with you on the bike? Um, but uh, yeah, so anyway, guys, comment um, below what you thought of the video. What, do you, what are your favorite travel systems for toddlers um, and simple living and minimalism when we're not trying not to have a whole lot of gear, but just have enough gear to make sure that we have a great, fabulous life. So with that, I'm wishing you guys all peace and joy, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.